Next, we have Lauren Martell speaking about obscenity in school. Hi, everybody. We are vibing high tonight. I mean, what a great presentation so far. Each one of those children is so amazing that got recognized. I should come to these more often. My children are successfully grown from Beaufort County School Systems. One graduated IB, that was intense. And now I have a young niece and nephew who are currently enrolled in schools. So I kind of have a beat on what's going on. I see people here that I know from years ago and people who I consider friends. The reason why I'm talking today though is because I'm an attorney and this is an issue that is not about banning books. It's about section 1615305, which is called disseminating, procuring, or promoting obscenity. And when you pull it up, it says it is unlawful for any person knowingly to disseminate obscenity. A person who disseminates obscenity within the meaning of this article sells, delivers, provides, or offers, or agrees to deliver, sell, or provide obscene writing, pictures, records, digital or electronic files, or other representations or description of obscene. I'm not gonna be able to read this entire statute to you. However, please here know it. And this is one of the things that everyone should know this statute. Many people get concerned about policy. Policy is not law. And when we come down to define the um, obscenity and the use of sexual conduct, has anyone been here when one of the parents read some of the things that were cringeworthy? Where you kind of go, I don't even want to say that out loud because I'm afraid if I say this out loud and there's minors in the room, I'm not going to be doing the right thing, the service to them. I'm not going to be a good leader in my community if I'm promoting. Sexual conduct means vaginal, anal, or oral intercourse, whether actual or simulated, normal or perverted, whether between two human beings, animals, or combined thereof. Masturbation excretory functions. And I want to tell you, I heard there was caution tape in one of our schools, bathrooms, because kids are starting to rub their poop on the walls. Where are we going? This isn't about book banning. This is about promoting obscene material. And everyone here has a duty. You can't delegate this to the library. Everyone here has a duty, an individual duty. You are elected you represent constituents, and more important, you have a duty to protect our minors. So I just ask everyone to read this statute and become familiar with the law, because at the end of the day, the law trumps policy. Thank you, and God bless.